time at home with the Livermore Public Library. My name is Miss Caitlin, and today we are going to use our scarves in the songs towards the end of story time. So please grab a scarf-like object for those songs. Let's get back into the swing of things by doing bread and butter together. We need to maintain a nice steady rhythm as we clap and chant this song. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Low. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as you can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> Very good job. And now we need to wake up our fingers by doing the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider. Climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain that washed the spider out. Out came the sun that dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Now it's time to talk about our early learning tip of the day. Did you know that walking on your tiptoes is a great way to practice your balance skills? Kids, have you ever tried walking on your tiptoes before? Do you know what that is? Okay, so when you first try it, sometimes it helps to hold on to a table or a chair or maybe the wall for balance but you're going to raise up and you are going to just step on the very, very tippy toes of your feet. And if you walk on your tiptoes, that's called tiptoeing. <laughs> it can take some getting used to, but it's a great way for you to practice your balance skills. Maybe one day you'll be able to stand on one foot or the other foot, or even hop on one foot. So can you try walking on your tiptoes? Up and down maybe? All around? <laughs> it's a fun way to practice your balance and balance is great for your motor skills. <laughs> learning tip of the day. We're going to practice tiptoeing and some other skills as we sing a song called This is the Way I Move. This is the way I walk on tiptoes, walk on tiptoes, walk on tiptoes. This is the way I walk on tiptoes so early in the morning. Now, can you stand on one foot? This is the way I stand on one foot, stand on one foot, stand on one foot. This is the way I stand on one foot so early in the morning. Was that difficult? Sometimes you can get a little wiggly. If it ever happens to you, it's okay. You can grab a table or a chair or the arm for support as you practice. That is fine by me. Now, this time, let's jump. This is the way I jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. This is the way I jump up and down so early in the morning. Very good. 
Let's do an easy one. Let's clap our hands. This is the way I clap my hands, clap my hands, clap my hands. This is the way I clap my hands so early in the morning. <laughs> Very good. Don't forget to practice going on your tiptoes or maybe even balancing on one foot if you can. Let's read a book. Today we are going to read Cows in the Kitchen by June Krebins and Katherine McEwen. This is all about some mischievous animals. What does mischievous mean? It means the animals getting into trouble. <laughs> so here we go. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. <laughs> Cows are making a mess. Look, broken dishes, pots and pans everywhere. Ducks in the dishes, quack, quack, quack. Ducks in the dishes, quack, quack, quack. Ducks in the dishes, quack, quack, quack. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. <laughs> Those ducks are dancing, they're chatting, eating the sugar cubes. They're a little less destructive than the cows, though. <laughs> Pigs in the pantry, oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pantry. Oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pantry. Oink, oink, oink. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. <laughs> the pigs do say oink, but it looks like they also eat all the jam and throw the cupcakes. That's not very nice of them. Hens on the hat stand. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Hens on the hat stand. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Hens on the hat stand. Cluck, cluck, cluck. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. <laughs> you see the hens taking a nap in that hat? Relaxing? <laughs> Sheep on the sofa, ba ba ba. Sheep on the sofa, ba ba ba. Sheep on the sofa, ba ba ba. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. It looks like they're bouncing on the sofa. It's not good for the sofas. <laughs> but where's Tom Farmer? Farmer in the haystack. Farmer in the haystack. Farmer in the haystack. What is he doing? He's sleeping. See, here's his feet sticking out. Tom Farmer. <laughs> so the dog and the mouse wake him up. Out of the farmhouse, shoo, shoo, shoo. Out of the farmhouse, shoo, shoo, shoo. Out of the farmhouse, shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> All of those animals don't belong in the farmhouse. Farmer in the armchair. Shh, shh, shh. Farmer in the armchair. Shh, shh, shh. Farmer in the armchair. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, 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 shh. So this would be a great opportunity for the animals to practice their tiptoeing. Mm -hmm. Because tiptoeing helps you walk a little quieter than normal footsteps. 
So lift the latch, shh, shh, shh. push the door, shh, shh, shh. Animals are coming back inside. Creep down the hall. You can do that on your tippy toes. You're creeping nice and quiet. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. <laughs> then they go wake him up. The end. Let's sing another song. This song is called Can You Hop Like a Bunny? And it's a pretty fun one. It does all sorts of different animal motions and sounds. It goes like this. Can you hop like a bunny? Can you jump like a frog? Can you quack like a duck? Can you bark like a dog? Woof, woof, woof. Can you fly like a bird? Can you swim like a fish? Can you be very still? And can you dance like this? <laughs> Good job dancing. Let's try that one once more, just a little faster. Can you hop like a bunny? Can you jump like a frog? Ribbit. Can you quack like a duck? Quack, quack, quack. Can you bark like a dog? Woof, woof, woof. Can you fly like a bird? Can you swim like a fish? Can you be very still? And can you dance like this? <laughs> Good job dancing, everybody. Now it's time to use our scarves. The first scarf song we're going to sing is called We Wave Our Scarves Together. We wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together. Because it's fun to do, we wave them all up high, we wave them all down below, we wave them in the middle. Because it's fun to do, now let's throw them. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. We throw them all up high. We throw them all down low. <laughs> we throw them in the middle. Because it's fun to do. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to sing our opposite song. And that goes like this. We wave our scarves up and down, up and down, up and down. We wave our scarves up and down, wave our scarves. We wave our scarves front and back, front and back front and back. We wave our scarves front and back. Wave our scarves. We wave our scarves fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. We wave our scarves fast and slow. Wave our scarves. <laughs> Great job. So that's it for today's story time at home with the Livermore Public Library. Don't forget to practice walking on your tiptoes. Practice your balance. It's fun and it's good for you. <laughs> Before we say goodbye today, let's sing one more song. We're going to sing Tickle the Clown. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around and tickle your nose, reach down low, 
reach up high. Story time is over. Now say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I will see you next time.